Hey guys, Coach Gaglion here, GaglionStrength.com and SupremeStrengthForSports.com, the proven system to develop maximal strength with minimal equipment. Guys, just a quick message tonight, just something that's been bugging me. i am just been getting a lot of excuses uh, I'm, about people like not having time to train, it's too much, it's too much of a time commitment, all this stuff. And quite frankly, I mean, truth be told, it's really, it's really just bullshit. And uh, those people are just making a ton of excuses, and I'm really sick and tired of hearing time as an excuse. Um, you know, most of the time, my programs are either two or three times a week. That's two or three hours a week. And there's, I mean, if it's 24 hours in a day, seven days in a week, it's really just a fraction of your time. And uh, I, I always say, guys, and it's something, you know, my friend Zach always to told me and really hit home, your health and your fitness and your strength it should always be one of your top priorities in your life, no matter what. If you're a competitive athlete, if you're an athlete on scholarship or you're an athlete looking to get a scholarship or really take it to the next level, be a state champion in wrestling or something like that or be a D1 athlete, it's got to be your top priority to train. That is like really like a job for you if you're on scholarship or something like that. Um, you know. And if you're not an athlete... Your health should always be one of your top priorities because if your health is poor, your fitness is poor, and your, your strength is poor, the quality of your life is just not going to be as good. Um, you know, if you're not getting stronger, you're getting weaker. If you're, uh, and if you're getting weaker, you're dying. So, and you're going to be at the, bot the, you know, the bottom of the barrel, the, the last guy in the pack, and you don't want to be that. You always want to be striving to get better. And I always say, I, I know with myself, you know, over the past couple of years, I definitely let my nutrition go, and it's something I'm really dialing in right now. Um, you never want to let your health go. You never want to let your fitness go. Um, I really think that when my training is dialed in, I shouldn't say I think, I know when my training is dialed in, the rest of my life gets dialed in. And really your fitness and your training should be like a metaphor for your life and really reflect. Uh, if you're kicking ass in the gym, you're just going to be able to transfer those skills and, and really kick ass in the rest of your life. So whether it's two hours a week, three hours a week, I know when I was in high school and what I do now, I train four times a week, but I'm not an athlete anymore. But even when I was an athlete, I was still doing an upper lower split and for training four times a week, I found time to get it in. Whether it was in the morning, before school, after school, after practice, it didn't matter if it was late at night, early in the morning. You know, I did morning wrestling workouts, you know, get up at five o'clock, wrestle at 6 a.m., shower at the school, sometimes get a lift in. Uh, in the mornings, if I couldn't get it in, sometimes I'd lift after wrestling practice. It could be like 7, 8 at night. It didn't matter. It was a top priority for me at the time. I didn't really know what I was doing. But, damn, you know, I learned how to work hard. I learned how to uh, deal with adversity. I learned how to push through. Uh, and I just think that's something that we're losing with some of the, the youth and the young kids and these athletes uh, this day and age and just the people in general. We just don't want to work hard. We don't want to put in the time. We don't want to put in the effort. We don't want to you know, put it, put in the time to get the results. We want results yesterday. And I think, uh, it's something unfortunate. Um, you know, so it's something I'm trying to instill in you guys, the training commitment, the time commitment, you really don't need to put in that much time, but you got to stay consistent and you got to put in an effort. If you can't commit to three hours a week or two hours a week of training, then I don't really know what you're going to be able to commit to, to and you're not going to really be successful in any area of your life. If you can't commit to two or three hours a week, just for your health. So um, I'm sorry if it's harsh, but it's the truth. And, uh, you know, just always make your health and your strength and your fitness a priority in your life. That is huge. Um, that's really it, guys. That's my message for this week. Um, definitely check out SupremeStrengthForSports.com. we got a sale going on at 70% off. Normally, it's, we sell it for $67, me and my buddy Todd. Uh, it's selling for $19 just this week. So definitely check it out. It's definitely something that, um, that we have a four-day program and a three-day program. It's a minimal time commitment, and uh, you can get maximal results from it. So definitely check it out using the links below. If you want more information, check out GadWeOnStrength.com and sign up for our newsletter as well. I'll talk to you guys soon. Later, G-Team.